situation, your circumstance, mm -hmm. and the Come situation on. that you might be in, Come on. God, come tell them, whatever you are in, he is saying, is there anything too hard for me? Come on. Thank you, Lord. Your word is here. Come on. Lavish. I come with the story of Lavish. They, they said that he, he's been dead for four days now. His body is stinking. situation that most people just walk away from because right now it's over. Come on, Richard. Lazarus been dead for four days, my wow. God. He, he, Jesus shows up on the shows up in on the scene. Yes. They said, if you had been here, Lord, if you had been here, mm -hmm. my servant, our brother Lazarus wouldn't have died. If you had been here, he wouldn't have died. Right. Your situation right now, some, somebody is saying right now this morning, God, if, if you had just been here, right, right. not knowing who he is, oh. he's the God of all things. That means he's the God of all things. He means he's in charge. He's in control of all things. Yes, yes sir. Yes, he is. So any timing is the right timing for God. Yes. But they told him, because a lot of us, we don't know who he is. Not in this situation, God. Then you were too late. You were too late for this situation. For this particular situation, you should have been here a week ago. You should have been here a month ago. Not knowing who he is. Not knowing he's always an on-time God. Yes, Lord. Come on, preacher. Your time is not God, to God time. Uh -huh. My time is not God time. Amen. Yes, Amen. Amen. Yes, is there anything too hard for God? No. no. You look at uh, you. We, 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 we look at the Israelite. Uh, the, uh, Moses is now. He's brought him out of captivity. He brought him out of Egypt. Amen. And they're going and trying to get into the, into the promised land. And you got the Red Sea before him. Right. You got Pharaoh army behind him. Amen. Right. Yeah. They in a dying and dead situation, amen. All right. But our God, amen, amen. Our God, yeah, God. Who, who's in charge and who's in control of everything. Uh -huh. yeah. No, is there anything too hard for God? No. We get back to your story on the day. You, you, you were in a dire and you were in a dead situation. And when I said, no, you wouldn't go to jail, you were going to hell. You were on your way to a burning hell. You were in a dire, you were in a dead situation. But God, is there anything too hard for God? Thank you, Lord. So I got someone sitting here this morning. I got someone sitting there praying this morning. Oh no, God, if it gets over, no, it's not over. He said, no, 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 it's not over. No, it's not over. It's not over until God takes over. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. You said it's over. Yeah. God had said it was over. Come on, preacher. You done made it in your mind and you're gonna find that God that is over. You speak in doubt. You speak in fear. You're not speaking what the word of God is saying. Come on. That's right. You have turned your back on the situation. That's right. You have left the situation. Come on, preacher. You said the situation is too hard. So he sends me. He sends the little messenger boy. And asks you a question. Is there anything too hard for me? No. We know what the judge said. We know what the doctor said. We know exactly what he said. Now, who report will you believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. Come on, Whose report should we believe? Yes, sir. His report that you are healed. Yes, sir. His report that you are filled. His report that you are free. Evangelist back in the day, uh, 
the doctor had given you a lot of people some bad reports. She said that she came in the word was hey, wrong diagnosis. Resume your life, amen. That's what the doctor said. God is saying wrong diagnosis. Resume your life. Life, amen. Yes. You got another opportunity yes. to get out of that dire and dead situation. Yes. 